Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Bangkok Chili Peppers TV. I am Muda and today I will show you the main things to see in one day in the windy city of Malmö located in the south part of Sweden. Let's go! Let's start with the castle located behind me. It was founded in 1434 by Eric of Pomerania, King of Denmark, Norway and Sweden. The castle was partially demolished in the early 16th century and the new one was built in its place in the 1530s by King Christian III of Denmark in a Renaissance style. Denmark coins were minted there in the Middle Ages. The castle was also a prison in the past. Prisoners were beheaded in the courtyard in the 19th century. The castle is part of Sweden's cultural heritage and today it's a museum. The wind here is really strong. Around the castle there is a garden with an area of about 12,000 square meters operated by a private club on ecological principles. I will now go inside the castle where is located the museum. It's December 2020 and unfortunately the museum is closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And now let's move forward and reach the turning torso. Download this cone traffic and app to buy the public transport tickets and move around the city. I just reached the turning torso that is located in a beautiful area right in front of the sea. The Turning Torso is a futuristic residential building in Sweden and the tallest building in Scandinavia. It was designed by the Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava based on his sculpture Twisting Torso. This building reaches an high of 190 meters with 54 floors and was officially opened on August 2005. The public can visit the top floors but only on special scheduled days and pre-booking is required. The Turning Torso is located on the way to the Olesund Bridge, a spectacular engineering masterpiece connecting Sweden with Denmark that I will show you right now. Don't come here during the winter, you will die for the wind and cold. Ooh. Take the bus to reach the Seabar Beach, then walk on the way to the Bunkeflo Beach, natural reserve, to have the best view of the Olesund Bridge. The Olesund Bridge is the longest combined road and rail bridge in Europe. It connects Sweden to Denmark. It runs for 8 km from the Swedish coast and then disappears in the artificial island Peberol. The crossing is completed by an undersea tunnel 4 km long named Drogen Tunnel that connects Peberol to the Nadish island of Amar. Nine people died to build this bridge. The construction began in 1995 and the opening to traffic was on July 2000. The lowest part is reserved to trains crossing Sweden and Denmark. This is a nice area for sport, relax or if you want to have a nice walk along the Seabarp, Bunkeflo and Ribesborg Beach. Visiting this bridge was something that was in my list since a long time. I am very happy today. And now let's explore the city center. Before to reach the city center I will stop to eat something typical. If you are in Sweden you should try the shrimp sandwich, a typical dish. In Malmö I suggest you the restaurant Limam's Fish Crackery. And here we are, bread with on top shrimp salad, shrimps and eggs. I paid around 14 US dollars, it looks really nice. Fresh. Very tasty. The shrimp sandwich was very good, something to definitely try. And now let's take a bus to go to the city center. Malmö, a small town, is called Gamla Staden. Here several medieval style buildings are located. The most important points to visit in this area are the Lillatori, the smallest square in Malmö. The Statoriet, that is the largest square in the city where is located the town hall. And you should also visit the Gustav Adolf Tori, a square famous for its Christmas market. This city has a Danish and German influence in its architecture. There are also a lot of postmodern buildings. 
The old lighthouse is located close to the city center, but in a more calm area. It's an hidden landmark and lovely spot for a walk along the channels and to admire the big ships crossing the North Sea. Malmo is also famous for its football club, where Zlatan Ibrahimovic signed his first contract in 1996. I am currently in the city center. Södergötam is the shopping street of the city. It connects Gustav Adolf's store with Stotoriet, the largest square in the city where is located the Malmö Town Hall, built in 1547. The Town Hall received its present Dutch Renaissance-style façade around 1860. The building next to the Town Hall is the Residenzet, the former home of the governor. Visit also the house of Görgen Koch, the Kokskauset, and the statue of King Karl X, Gustav of Sweden, who took the city from Danish domination. Another attraction point in the city center is the St. Peter Church, built in the 14th century in Gothic style, represents the main church of the city. It contains late medieval murals of recognized high quality. At the other end of this other Gotham, there is the Gustav Adolf Tori, a square famous for its Christmas market. If you are into art, visit the Modern Art Museum. The Lilla Torg area is probably the center of nightlife of the city. Here are located a lot of bars. It's Saturday night and the area looks quite empty, most probably due to the COVID-19. Sweden is famous also for its beer culture. I will take the bus to reach a bar called Malmö Brewing, located in Bersgotan 33, that in my opinion is the best beer in the city. I will start with a glass of homemade IPA. That's a good IPA. Second round with homemade stout beer. This is chocolate. In Bersgotan there are a lot of Arab and Turkish restaurants. I selected the campus for its music. It seems that the beer costs more than food here in Sweden. Guys, you can visit all the main attractions in Malmö in one full day, but I suggest you to stay here two full days to take your time and relax. This episode is over. I hope that you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.